what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna talk about some brand new devices and uh, 24 hours ago approximately 24 hours ago apple announced their brand new flagship of iphones and this is the iphone 12 pro max they also announced the iphone 12 pro the iphone 12 and also the iphone mini in this video, I want to talk about the highest spec and also the most expensive new iPhone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and how this might be a game changer for those traveling light, editing videos on the go, whether it's vlogs, documentaries, travel videos, or interviews. I will also share my thoughts on this new device, whether I think it's worth upgrading from the 11 Pro Max or not. Now let's do a quick recap. Apple launched four new phones, the iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max, where the Max is the most specced phone. They also launched the HomePod mini for streaming music and voice controlling apps with Siri. Now back to the topic of this video, which is mobile filmmaking. Now whether you travel or not, Capturing memories, sharing memories has always been easy using an iPhone, whether it's an old or the latest model. In the past years, there has been a significant increase in mobile photography and videography, which not only increases the demands of better cameras and accessibility for creators, but also increases the demands of how we want to edit our videos and where we want to edit them. And talking about where, here is when LumaFusion comes in. LumaFusion is the most specced, up-to-date video editing software for iOS. We will come back to LumaFusion and the new 2.4 update in a bit, but first let's talk about the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the new game changing features which might make your filmmaking experience a whole lot better. First, the screen. Now packed with Super Retina XDR display with an all screen OLED display rocking a massive 6.7 inch display with a resolution of 2778 by 1284 pixels at a 458 ppi. It weighs only 228 grams which makes it the perfect travel companion for lightweight travelers and vloggers. Talking about vlogging, since we're all sorta filmmakers, one of the best ways to start vlogging if you're brand new to this and you really want to share your stories, parts of your life, but you want to stay low, you don't feel comfy about the attention and you don't want people to stare you off. Using the brand new front facing camera on the iPhone 12, whether it's the Pro, the Pro Max or the Mini, not only will it make your videos better with high resolution and 4K HDR 10 bit recording, it will also make you blend in, like you're having a FaceTime call. And yeah, you heard me, 4K HDR 10 bit video recording with Dolby Vision up to 30 FPS on the front facing selfie camera. That's that's insane. And um, if that happens to be too much for you, you can always swap to uh, 4K 60p for a more realistic look to the moving environment in your frame or take a crazy selfie at 1080p 120 frames per second slow motion. Now let's get back to topic here, the screen. The screen comes in at a massive 1200 nits peak brightness in HDR, which makes your HDR recordings pop and this is also more than most computer monitors and TVs and on their phones which runs at around 300 to 400 on average. And for normal video here on the Pro Max you have around 800 nits as well which is still more than the average. This means you will probably be able to light your face when you are doing vlogs in low light conditions. Now. Talking about low light conditions, Apple also claims that the iPhone 12 Pro Max has 87% better low light performance and a new ISP with improved noise reduction for details, though this is to be tested in reality. Now for the durability of the screen, we have a brand new improved type of protective glass, the ceramic shield. It's made by adding nano ceramic crystals into glass, which makes it a lot stronger and more durable than previous iPhone screens. It's also scratch resistant and Apple also claims that this new ceramic shield has an improved drop performance of four times, which then means that you are more or less likely to maintain the screen 
without breaking it after you drop the phone. Let's move over to iPhone filmmaking. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel camera system with ultra wide, wide and telephoto, where the ultra wide lens has an aperture of f2.4 with that 120 degrees field of view. The wide lens has an aperture of f1.6 and the telephoto has an aperture of f2.2. Now, the low aperture of the wide lens, f1.6, will truly come in handy and this is what you will be using the most because it also comes with a 5 times improved stabilization over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, the new line of iPhones all come with a new A14 Bionic chip with 50% faster CPU and GPU speed than other smartphones. It has up to 80% faster neural engine and a massive 16 cores. To top this, there has also been an improvement to the machine learning, which is now up to 70% faster. Now, you may ask, why does this matter? And has this anything to do with filmmaking? Yes. So think about it like this. You buy a simple office PC, just a, just a basic one. Let's say $300 or something like that. Try editing 4K HDR video on that computer. Yeah, thought so. Might as well play back the uncutted video on your phone, camera or the device where you recorded the video. That means the more spec'd out your recording device is, the more spec'd out the editing device has to be as well. That means the iPhone 12 is more specced than the average computer or phone, which again opens for editing videos shot on different devices with ease. No stutter, no lag, just a simple smooth editing workflow. The iPhone 12 Pro Max can record up to 4K HDR 10-bit with Dolby Vision at 60 frames per second, capturing 700 million colors for more lifelike video. A normal 4K up to 60 FPS is also to be seen in the new iPhone and of course 1080p at 240 FPS. This will basically cover all your filmmaking needs. Now you will also be able to use 5 times optical zoom and 7 times digital zoom. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also has audio zoom, which I believe to work as it says. Optical zoom up to 5 times, you will maintain clear audio even zoomed in. Working as written, audio zoom. This will be interesting to see and test in reality if it works as intended. This will be a new era for interviews and filmmakers which are going for the typical vlog style. Now let's talk about stabilization. The optical image stabilization, also called the OIS, on the iPhone 12 now makes adjustments to the wide camera 5,000 times per second. Apple also claims that this is five times faster than the iPhone 11 Pro. As of being a filmmaker myself, knowing the correct moves and movement needed for stable video, optical image stabilization is just a bonus. Now that it has been improved to the better, I can see this being really helpful for the future generation of filmmakers or those who are looking to get into videography. Now, as previous iPhone models, you will be recording in either HEVC or H.264. Now, remember at the beginning of this video, I mentioned LumaFusion. Let's talk about that. For those that just popped by for this video, most of what's going on on this channel is LumaFusion video editing or so-called mobile video editing. Filming with either of the recording devices you have for then to edit the video on an iPhone or an iPad with LumaFusion since most iPads and iPhones are faster might not be more specced but faster than the average consumer PC or low-end Macs even high-end Macs. Using LumaFusion you will not only edit faster but smoother. You can also edit anywhere you want whenever you want. You're not locked to a desk or an office, you can record on your way to school, practice, to the shop, and then edit the video on the bus home. So we have the new iPhone 12 with 4K HDR 10-bit recording, right? LumaTouch, which is the owner of LumaFusion, also has a new update coming. LumaFusion 2.4 and later 2.5. With the upcoming LumaFusion Update 2.4, we will have full HDR10 support, HDR AGLG support, and the standard Rec. 709 10-bit support. This will give us a seamless workflow with the iPhone 12 Pro. Film your videos in HDR 10-bit Dolby Vision at 60fps on your iPhone 12, then open your files directly in LumaFusion from your Photos app and start editing. 
When your edit is finished, select the render resolution, which codec you used, select the bitrate, and then export your video to a desired location, whether it's directly to the Photos app or to your YouTube channel. Now this sounds like an ad for Apple and Luma Fusion, right? Well, it's not. There's no paid promotion or anything I'll get out of this. This is just my personal opinion and recommendations to you as a mobile creator or a starting filmmaker wanting to travel as light as possible with the best possible quality and workflow in mind. And another thing, the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the LumaFusion app installed, it fits in your pocket. So there's basically nothing else you need. You have the camera, you have the HDR 10-bit support on the camera, and you also have the uh, capability of editing that footage inside of LumaFusion, which also then is in your pocket, right? So what else would you need? So now that we're taking a look at the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max, is it worth upgrading from the 11? Now this all comes down to your needs. For me, I'm not gonna upgrade right now. I can say this now, but I can also sit here in like a week with the brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max in my hand. I don't know yet, but for people which are using an iPhone to film with on a regular basis, definitely worth the upgrade. With the HDR 10-bit Dolby Vision, this is just this is just fantastic for the film industry and for people that want to edit on the go. Now, LumaFusion is also supporting 10-bit in the future with the future 2.4 upgrade, as I mentioned. And uh, you can also, if you think that the uh, iPhone screen is too small, you can buy a USB type C to HDMI adapter and you can connect your iPhone to a monitor, which will then give you a bigger screen to see your editing on. You will still have to do everything on your phone, but you still have like a bigger preview screen. So that's also something to consider if you are looking for a new phone and you want a phone with the best possible camera to record your vlogs, your interviews, documentaries, or just to show off uh, whatever you are filming on YouTube or just with your family. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, short review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the tips and tricks that I showed you for why this might be the perfect travel companion for your future videos. Now with that said, make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss any future video and I really hope to see you in the next one. Warning. Warning. Warning.